that's rather emotionally strong, uh, made by the staff of CSR, um, a documentary. Um, we call it Second Wits. It's also available on the internet in case you guys want to check it out. Uh, we'll make sure that you get the link and you can spread the word amongst um, uh, your friends. How many of you have come to India for the first time? <laughs> okay, I should have asked the other question. So you've been here before as well. Alright, great. Um, so, um, our crazy country, and it is literally crazy, so let it happen to you. You will not be able to do anything here. India does things to you. Um, and uh, you will find a lot of paradox in it. So as in the documentary, there are lots and lots of problems, but at the same time, there are even more solutions. Um, the girls you saw right at the end of the video, uh, they are living in conditions which most of us won't be able to survive, but they are still happy at the same time. How and why, it's very hard to explain. You just have to observe it and come up with your own uh, understanding of it. Coming to our organization, uh, CSR, we were founded in 1983. How many of you were born in 1983? Okay, I was, that was the year I was born. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's how old the organization is. It was formed by a bunch of students from JNU, it's a university right across the street. And uh, they were fighting a case against dowry. Uh, do you guys know what dowry is? Um, in, in, in Indian custom, um, so in India, another important thing is you, get, you are born and then you get married. These are very two important things in your life. The rest is kind of just details. And when you get married, uh, a very um, sad custom of patriarchy is getting dowry. So you're given money from the girl's side. That's like probably one of the most core uh, establishments of patriarchy in this country. Yeah, so they were finding this case and they found out how complicated it is. And that led to forming of this organization. So, um, uh, it's a very activist sort of an organization. So we are rather unorganized. We do things in very haphazard manners. That is also because we we pretty much people in the field. So that is where we can uh, actually function well. Inside offices is more for uh, just calming our energies. Um, here are a few projects which are uh, which Center for Social Research is doing right now. Um, something called uh, Mary Shakti Mary Baby. Do you guys know what prenatal sex selection is? Or gender bias sex selection? Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge problem in India, especially in the state of Haryana, a little north from Delhi, uh, where girls are aborted in their fetuses itself. So once uh, a mother finds out that she's having a girl, because of various reasons, they are aborted. And um, uh, we are doing this project in Haryana, in Delhi, trying to raise awareness. And now, thankfully, the Prime Minister also looked into it and there's a government project which has come up looking into the same problem. Um, India, uh, when we got independence back in 1947, uh, we had 10% of women in our parliament. How many percent of women are there in your parliament? Anybody? 45 something, I think. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. So ours, ours was 10. And then that number went down and it has again risen to 10. Uh, you come at a very exciting time in Delhi actually. There's elections on 7th. You guys, did you guys hear some campaign? Yeah. yeah. Sadly, the campaign madness stops at 5 o'clock. It's awesome. It's like crazy what happens in families, but it stops today at 5 o'clock. I, I hope you get to see more of it. Um, on, on a different road, where all do you travel in, in India? Do you travel anywhere? Yeah, we're going to Jaipur tomorrow. You're going to Jaipur? Okay, yeah. wonderful. And then? Uh, Pushkar and then back. Oh, Pushkar. Good, good, good. Great. So when you come back, probably Delhi will be on the other side of elections and mm -hmm. life will be a little sorted. So uh, what we are trying to do is uh, get about 33% women in parliament. Very, very important. But uh, this uh, uh, bill has still not come and has still not been passed. So that's a major campaign our organization is running. Uh, that is our director, by the way, Dr. Anjana Kumari. If you switch on the television in the evening, you'll probably see her commenting on some point or the other about gender. She's very popular with the media. Um, something new, which uh, was our flagship, was working with men and boys. So a, a huge issue with the women's empowerment movement has been it has spoken only to women. Or at least in India, that was the case scenario. Thankfully, five years back, six years back, people started realizing that the problem is not on this side. It is pretty much on the other side of patriarchy. So uh, working with men and boys like Vikram, like myself, you know, so there are a few men as well in the, uh, in the movement. And what we do is we go to schools and colleges um, talking to young uh, boys and uh, men about their behavior and trying to figure out, okay, where does this violence, insecurity, lack of understanding come from? 
And usually we find out that our socialization is so, the Indian socialization that uh, interaction with the opposite sex is very, very limited. And it is not really looked into uh, very positively at a larger extent. So that is another pro uh, uh, program that we are doing. Surrogacy, have you guys heard about surrogacy? Um, is it is it uh, popular in uh, Sweden? No, yes, anybody? Surrogacy, surrogacy. Oh, it's illegal. It's illegal. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's wonderful. So I think I can back. Okay, it's illegal. That's that's interesting. Because uh, India is turning to be a hub of surrogacy. Yeah. Our medical tourism it used to be organ transplant. Now it has shifted to this new space of surrogacy, and we have lots and lots of uh, people from abroad, from different countries, coming here. Sadly, we don't have any law regarding this, any guideline regarding this. So what we are trying to do is trying to get a new act passed which will ensure that uh, the women, the commissioning parents or the child cannot be discriminated against. That is something CSR is working very hard on and um, hopefully by the end of this year we will have this law in place.